was expecting what most nice sharpeners look like. A big hunky piece of machine that I have to put on my countertop and it looks ugly. Not the case because this is Cleva and that is the actual name of the company, not be, be, being cute. And what they are, they countertop knife sharpeners with this incredible suction base that will demonstrate to you how uh, this baby's not going to move. And you're not just getting one red one, you're getting one red and you're getting one blue. So you're getting a set of two for less than $25. Talk about the perfect stocking stuff stuffer for the cook in your life, right? It is. Anybody that has a knife wants them to be sharp. And what I love about the Cleva, you mentioned, as a chef, I owned a restaurant, a catering business. Mm -hmm. This is the safest, easiest, most effective sharpener I've seen. You talked about the suction cup. This is a patented suction cup, okay? When you put this on a flat, smooth surface, I want you to see what happens here. When we engage this clip here, mm -hmm. this is now secure. So I wanna show you, so this is the entire table. We have two of them here. I wanna watch <laughs> something. We're Stop gonna funny. actually move this entire table. I could actually move this across the room. That's because these are now secure. So that's really important because now this is safe to use. You don't have to put your hand near the knife when you're sharpening. You have one-handed operation. And here's the great thing. We have mm -hmm. tungsten carbide groups. They're at that perfect 20 degree angle, harder than the steel on the knife, right? So when I pull it through, what I'm doing is I'm actually breaking down the metal on the knife, restoring the factory edge, and every knife in your arsenal should not have a life, okay? This is a knife from my restaurant from almost 20 years ago, okay? We've just restored the factory edge, so now it's as sharp as the day I pulled it out of the box. Take a look at this, I'll go to a, a, a soft tomato, Ooh. and we're gonna pull this through and look at the perfect thin mm -hmm. slices each and every time you get with this knife, and that's because Cleva has restored that factory edge and it cuts like the day we got the knife. That is amazing. I gotta tell you, it's customer top rated for this very reason. More than 120,000 sets have been sold and we just threw up those reviews at the bottom of your screen because people love these. And I gotta tell you, there's nothing uh, more unsafe than a dull knife. It's That's not right. the sharp knives uh, that are putting us at danger. And this is one-handed sharpening. I gotta tell you, when it comes to sharpening my knives, I'm always calling in my husband. I don't know how to use the rod. I don't know how to get the right angle. So it's a job that I just don't feel comfortable doing this I could handle that and this is what I love you know I'm a chef I know how to sharpen knives here's a serrated knife most sharpeners don't do that but again you don't have to be a professional all you need to do is be able to pull the knife through the clever it does the work for you we've given you that perfect angle tungsten tungsten carbide which is harder than metal in the knife restores the factory edge but let me show you you just mentioned something that's really important yeah because this uh, if you look at me I don't get this like what am I supposed to be doing I kind of just feel silly and, and like what and is look this? how to me that's dangerous I'm getting nervous even watching <laughs> you doing that because when you use a steel, in fact, you use a great example. When you use a steel, you're actually pulling the knife down toward your hand, so it's dangerous. Uh -huh. If you don't get that right angle, you actually wind up dulling the knife. And in fact, we're oh. going to intentionally dull this knife right now, all right? Okay. We're going to take a knife. I'm going to run it across the steel the wrong way. And again, oftentimes when people use a steel, this is the result they get because they don't get that right angle. I'm going to try to take this knife and cut something as soft as a sponge. I want you to see what happens here, okay? okay. We're going to actually try to cut the sponge. Now, this is what makes a knife dangerous. I am pushing down applying pressure. That's mm. when people slip with their knives and cut themselves. Right. So now we're going to take this back to the clever, okay? okay? Now, people ask, how many times do you pull it through the clever? It right. all depends. Depends how dull the knife was, but you can see here on the close-up, you see those little metal shavings coming off? Those are actually the restoring the factory edge. And now in a matter of, I don't know, about four or five swipes, we go back to our sponge that we couldn't cut, uh -huh. okay? And let's see what happens now. Now we go right through that sponge, okay? Now we can cut through a sponge that we couldn't get through. Now take a look at this. We don't cut sponges in the kitchen. Let's go back to that ripe tomato. Mm. That knife that I just couldn't cut a sponge with, I go back to this tomato and I get perfect slices That's each and every time. Because now it, the knife's like new again. Yeah, because a dull knife will ruin that tomato. That's right, it'll tear uh, it apart. Yeah, it'll tear it right apart. Uh, remember, two of them for less than $25. Use both. Keep one, gift one, throw it in your son's, your husband's stocking. Any aspiring chef or master chef in your life will love this. And it's not just our regular chef's knives or our Santuco. You can do a butcher knife like this, a butcher. A cleaver. A cleaver. Look at this. Yeah. Okay, and this is a heavy metal. And this close-up will show. Watch the shavings of metal come off. And that's okay to have the shavings. You're that's not right. ruining the knife. No, you're not. You're actually restoring the edge. And here's another great tip. Once you've sharpened your knife, always wipe it or rinse it off because you don't want any of those metal shavings in your food. But here you can see how tough that tungsten carbide groove is. It's actually pulling knife all this thick, heavy cleaver. So now if you look at this, we've actually restored that edge. You can see it's back to the way it was the mm. day we took it out of the box. And again, I talked about this knife here. This is a knife that's almost 20 years old mm -hmm. from my kitchen. Again, I keep this on my counter. A few swipes through the Cleva, 
and we go to use this in the kitchen, a knife should not require pressure, okay? So when we take this out and we go to use it, we just gently rock this. Now we get perfect chops each and every time. And again, this is the way a knife is supposed to be. People get so excited when they get a new set of knives. Mm -hmm. They use it for a few weeks, it gets dull, it gets <laughs> thrown in a drawer. Well, with yeah. Pleva now, everybody can restore that factory Yeah, edge. don't ditch those old knives. Just sharpen them and sharpen them in a safer, better way. And look it, doesn't take up much room in your counter space. Just leave it out so it's always there within use, but also throw it in a drawer because it's so, so tiny. I mean, my goodness, if I look at that, it might be two inches in diameter. If you have a husband who hunts, if nope. you have um, a son or grandson, who loves to fish. The size of this, baby, I don't know. Okay, here's one. I mean, you're throwing this. Do you already have one in this. there? Oh, it's, you got them in there. Right to and the you top. stuck it to the top. This could go in their toolbox or their hunting box. Awesome, because it's really any knife. And quite frankly, it's not just knives, too. Nope. If you have a food processor and your blades. Anything that has an edge in your kitchen is going to get dull through use. So you want to restore that edge, okay? This is a food processor blade. Again, all I'm doing is I'm pulling it through the clever. That angle that we've already set up for you, that perfect 20 degree angle, is restoring the factory edge. So with each pull, now I'm going back to brand new sharp cutting ability. That's the way your tools in the mm. kitchen were meant to be. Now when you go to use it, it cuts like the day you bought it. Fantastic. If you're giving a KitchenAid food processor for Christmas, you already have it picked out and bought, guess what? This could be the stocking stuffer to go along with it. I know this is not on easy pay, but if you use your Q card, you get it every day. So this would be three monthly payments of $8.25. Again, customers have loved this. We have so many five star reviews, so I urge you, um, you can go to QVC.com uh, to read some of those if you did not see them at the bottom of your screen. But, you know, a sharp knife. Just makes for a better experience, not only safe one, but better right. in terms of your prep time. It takes a lot less time because you easily can go through the tomatoes. Waxy peppers, because they have that coating. Yep. Sometimes it's hard to break through. And if your, your knife is dull, um, trust me, it's not getting through that pepper. It's not. And I'm going to show I want to show one more time talking about dull. This is that steel, okay? So many people, I'm going to lift it up. So many people that they use a steel, A, they're bringing the knife toward their hand and it's dangerous. B, they wind up dulling it. So I'm going to actually dull this knife. Again, I'm going to pass it the wrong way. Try to cut something as soft as a sponge. I just like to show this because now this knife is useless, but it's also dangerous because I'm using pressure. We we'll go back to the clever, take it through about four or five times, and each time I am restoring that factory edge, and you can start to feel it now hone back to where it was. Mm -hmm. Now we go back to that sponge, cuts through, no problem. Mm. All right, love the clever, <laughs> love it. I lift weights, what can I say? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, 500 cents a order. It's the set of two clevers inside of K40140. Live television, don't you just I love, love it, Roman? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I keep mentioning the cue card. Um, if you want to know more or sign up for one, really easy to do. Just